Finding your passion is a load of shit. Every self-proclaimed guru or self-development book tells you to only do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. This thinking is flawed for three main reasons. Number one, it assumes that work is bad. When work is not bad, work is good. Work makes the world go round. It's how we separate the strong from the weak. It's how we separate those that say that they want it versus those that actually want it. And it's how we reward people accordingly. Number two, it assumes that you already know what you love, which in my experience is not typically the case. My favorite quote is action leads to to insight more often than insight leads to action, which simply means that by doing the thing, you will figure out whether you like it or not. The problem is that so many people fall into the only do what you love philosophy when most people have no idea what they love to do. And because of that, they don't do anything or even worse, they do something they hate that they're doing until they somehow magically think of something that they love to do. Number three, it assumes that we should find what we're passionate about first and then find someone to pay us to do it later. This is an antiquated and slow way for achieving what most people will consider success. I love eating double chocolate chip ice cream, but it would take me a while to find someone to pay me to do that. I love flying my plane around, but it would take me about 1500 hours in order to become an airline pilot. I really enjoy working out, but I would need to sacrifice years of my life in order to get to the 1% of bodybuilders that actually make any kind of serious dough. My answer to all of this is simple. Instead of only doing what you love, try dozens or hundreds of things out that you have no idea if you love or don't love, but that you know somebody else wants. And then slowly over time, you will be able to filter out things that you actually enjoy doing from that. For example, I've created a multiple eight figure company doing what I love, but I didn't start doing it. Actually, I started doing something that I really didn't have any interest in at all, which was I started running ads for real estate agents. I can promise you I didn't wake up as a kid and tell my mom I wanted to be a real estate agent lead generator when I got older. But it was from trying out ads and sales funnels and websites that I learned that I actually had a knack for and really enjoyed helping other people grow their businesses. And that led me to create Scaling with Systems, which is our multiple eight figure company today. If I had waited until somehow I magically stumbled across that I love to help other people grow their businesses, I likely would be in the same position that I was three years ago. In reality, reality, I feel that most people hide behind the passion claim. Instead of them going out and potentially failing at dozens or hundreds of different things, they hide behind the statement that they're trying to wait until they find something they love before they even get started. Remember, action leads to insight more often than insight leads to action.